this is a follow-up on my icebreaker and Anna was my evaluator and told me I should break up my story into separate episodes and projects. And it was the icebreaker that I gave in March, shortly after I came out of hospital and rehab. And it was a very spontaneous decision to give my icebreaker then. And guess what? Life happens. It's the same story over and over again. I jumped in because I'm a leader. I believe in learning by doing and even though I know I haven't had enough time to prepare this presentation because I've got so much to share and so much is happening, I decided this is what I'm going to do and I do see myself as a motivation trainer. So it's a part of that exercise. Do it yourself before you tell others. To do it. I talked about a lot of areas of my life in my icebreaker and I'm proud to tell you that because I bought a video camera for the club in 2012 when I was the president, we have recordings of our meeting but that meeting was not due to my video camera purchase but the fact that we put our recordings on our Easy Speak. So if you're really interested, you can look back and verify the information as long as you're a member of our club. When you're an active member of our club, you can see the videos of the meetings that have taken place all the way back in history when they started. I just said I'm a leader and a communicator well, I've got certification to prove it. I'm a competent communicator and I got that award in 2012. And then I became president of the club and you might think I'm a good communicator, but I didn't give many speeches after that. I tended to get tied up in the administration and organization of the Toastmasters. And I'm still an active member of the executive committee. In 2018, I finally completed my competent leader. And actually, I thought I was a communicator and a leader before I even joined Toastmasters. And to a certain extent, even my communications trainer certificate was more uh, a search for validation for what I was already doing rather than giving me the qualification because I was, and I still do a lot of communication and leadership in my various functions and projects. I'm not only a communicator and a leader, I'm a mother, I've got five sons, I'm a daughter. My mother passed away last week and the funeral was yesterday. 10 o'clock in the morning in Melbourne, Australia. I'm so glad three of my five sons came over and shared the live stream of the funeral with me. I actually prepared a couple of photos that I wanted to share with you and I'm just looking now. Yes. Okay. So back to my screen here and share the screen. Go straight into the photo. So this is where I can't even do a practice run before. Okay, this is, do you see the photo? It's my mother. And she had a stroke and was found in, at home and went to, ambul went to hospital. And the day before she saw her sixth great grandson. And 
I'm just grateful for all the experiences that I can have. And actually, I was going to talk. This is my kids with me um, at the live screen stream at two o'clock in the morning. What I really wanted to talk about, oops, it's the other way, was when I first met Tristan at his farewell speech for David King. Now, I attracted Tristan's attention because I filmed that speech, which he didn't even realize at the time. But I would so much love to share and communicate about all of these other aspects. Now, so much of our life goes on privately. As I mentioned, our secure line on Easy Speak, our private videos on YouTube. I was so inspired by Tristan's sense of humor and even more moved and inspired when he invited me for a cup of coffee when I offered the feedback. He asked me for feedback to his speech. And just two months later, he turned up at our Toastmasters meeting. Now, became a member, became Vice President Public Relations and President. And life happens, as we mentioned, and I didn't get around to posting anything on his Farewell. I don't know if he's received it yet, so I won't say I won't say anything. I really want to say thank you to Tristan for joining our club, for making the room available, for contributing so much, for being my evaluator today. And you can please give me everything that I need to learn because that's exactly what I'm doing this for. Because we are learning from one another and learning by doing. And life happens, and my time is up. And thank you very much. Lily, 